as I look at my calendar, today is Wednesday. We don't have any 50-year anniversaries or 60-year anniversaries, but it's Wednesday. Thank so God, man. You? I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling a little, uh, a little exhausted from the frenetic pace of markets and whatnot. Now, watch what I do here. Watch how I tie this You're whole always thing together. Very the deft. nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, headquartered in, I believe, Cleveland, Ohio, Yep. came out yep. today these food fighters or foo fighters yeah or yeah yeah food coloring yeah devo yep. is on the list and and i think I, I, you uh, know what i, I never had Warwick. a lot of time for devo by the way sorry keep going keep no going. no i mean devo is no i i did never i mean i like i like new out. wave i just didn't like devo i no. mean i thought it was a little Awful. dopey the hats those hats you know, we know. are Devo, D-E-V-O. It's, it's just aw- whip Awful. it whip it's an annoying listen. song all right so i keep going none of that is good um also on the list and you love to make fun of me. She happens to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame already as a songwriter. But Carol King is on the list as a performer. Now, you always make fun of me. You say, because I say Tapestry is a top five album. You know, name one song on Tapestry. I mean, you just, you know, you're being and, abusive. And, and I'm no, going to name and, some songs. Uh, I bet you can't. And, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, Carol King is Janice Ian is not uh, even close. She's a first is. ballot Hall of Famer. First ballot <laughs> Hall of Famer. First okay. ballot Hall of Famer. Okay. On the album Tapestry, just so you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you now. Watch how I tie this in. Okay. Sure. I feel the earth move. First song. So far away. Second song. Beautiful, which is a song you know. Uh, you've got a friend. Where you lead. Um, will you love me tomorrow? You make me feel like a natural woman. But what I did mention on wow. this album, it's, and this is where I'm going to deep you, cut, Tim yeah. Seymour. I don't know, maybe the most commercial, the, the, the commercial hit on the album. And this is where I'm going to go to you and I'm going to let you riff. It's Too Late is on that album. So Tim Seymour, on a day where Tilray is up, I, I don't even know, you 40%. Is it too late? to get into the cannabis space. Tim Seymour. It's definitely not too late. It's it's it may be too late to to get part of that 40 percent move or not. But that that's not investing in cannabis anyway. Investing in Tilray has been investing in capital market shenanigans and hype. And and uh, and, and I, I need to make it clear. It's not that Tilray is actively involved in shenanigans. I just I just think that this is a stock that from its IPO on the Nasdaq, uh, in mid 2018, has been the center of the storm around the, some of the legislative issues and the capital markets, you know, just headwinds that are allowing Canadian companies with uh, an addressable market right now of, you know, call them the, the 51st state. I mean, one fiftieth, um, and that's those are actually numbers that are more or less in line with where I think the addressable market of of the cannabis market will be by. 2025. Um, it, it, it's it's just not really a story. It was more a story about the Canadian companies that could list on the New York Stock Exchange or the Nasdaq uh, get squeezed higher. So um, read me a couple carry a couple more of those songs off those, that album, and I'll continue. It's too to- late is the one, but the, the the first song on the first so first far away. song first side is I feel the earth move. The earth I feel is, the earth move. Let's talk a, about I that. I mean, it's moving. It's moving well, under your feet. You know, people questioned whether it was truly about the earth, whether it was about cultivation. And a lot of people said these companies could never be worth anything because think about this, folks. What what agricultural companies do you know that are north of five billion or ten billion dollars that trade in the public markets? Crickets, right? Crickets. So Jinx. so the, the, the point is you've got uh, you, you, this isn't really an earth move. Uh, dynamics, not about tilling and roto tilling and cultivation. Um, it's really about brands and distribution and packaging and ERG and logistics and, and the things that make every other consumer products group interesting, but but more importantly, have a multiple. All right, so give me give me another song. That's a good one for you. So given today's move in the stocks, okay, thank will you. Will you love me tomorrow? Yeah, and 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 that also sounds like what's that song? Uh, Will you still love me tomorrow? Um, That's it. That that is yeah? that song. Okay, yes. so so I'm gonna not only still love you tomorrow, I'm gonna love you more because I, I think tomorrow means uh, wherever we continue to evolve to in terms of the the overall uh, legislative path, but also the the perception change and, and the change also around use cases of what people consider to be medicine and and and. 
by the way, medicine is, for many people is a can of beer at the end of the day. Um, medicine is possibly a bare aspirin uh, that we walk into or any number of OTC uses. So, uh, you know, I, I think that's that that's so far away is is really. Um, Actually, we already did that. Sorry. Will you still love That's me okay. tomorrow? So, so yeah. yes, the answer is we'll probably love you a little bit more. What's, what's the most interesting thing about this sector in terms of tomorrow is that most big institutional investors are not even here. Uh, and, and most big institutional investors who tend to be the ones that will be the, the flows that re-rate stocks, with all due respect to our Reddit friends, um, are, are still unable to invest in this sector for some of the reasons we've talked about. And just because uh, I think a lot of them think that the, they, they, or they have a mandate that would not allow them to invest in something that's federally illegal, even though uh, that horse has left the barn guy. Yeah, left the I barn. like that. I'm more an Excedrin guy, by the way, on the Aspen front. So here you go. Here's another song. I want you to help us here. Um, where you lead. I mean, who is the leader here in the switch? Where you lead. Can you sing that song follow. for me? Where should, can, can you where sing you, I will follow any. Yeah, I can sing it, but I'm not going to do that. You've got a decent upper register. I would think that would work. No, here. I do have a decent upper register. But you know the song. Where uh, you lead, I will follow. So, so Anywhere so, that you want me to, where you lead, so you I, need I, me to be with you. Here's, here's, where, here's where I'll lead, and, and I hope you follow. But I, I recognize that everybody charts their own path. Um, and, and to be clear, the, the, the word tapestry uh, of course, it implies, I think, a, 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 a stitching together of, of a pastiche, different- pastiche, uh, a uh, mosaic. If, if I may. Um, and I think we, we just did. So, so the, 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 the tapestry that is being sewn together for the story is, is that there are a handful of big companies, not small companies, big at least um, relative to a couple of years ago, but call them four to five to $10 billion companies. I'm talking about Cureleaf. I'm talking about GTI or Green Thumb. I'm talking about Cresco Labs. I'm talking about Trueleaf. I'm talking about Terrasend. Uh, I'm talking about you know, AYR. Um, there's, there's big companies out there that people know of that are profitable and, and they're profitable mm. now. So um, where should you be and where should you be following? I think you should be following leaders, but I think you should also understand that this industry is rapidly changing and that the investments around them are gonna to continue to evolve. And that's why I think investors need to be very careful on days like today. And we talk about this all the time on Fast Money, but on commercial break, where we're having a cannabis specific conversation. Um, what, what's happening today, uh, especially north of the border, to me is concerning. And, and look, I run an ETF, it's an actively managed strategy. Uh, and in that strategy, I actually take days like today to fade some of that FOMO. I like that. Last one, I promise. Okay. You've got a friend. Do you have a friend in the cannabis space? Last question. So, so, and I, I, I think when people talk about the friend in the cannabis space, they, they historically were talking about their guy, right? Um, and everybody had a guy, Hey, you want to call it your guy and guy. Um, I'm not sure if you know what I mean by a guy, because I think you're out there having professed uh, never to participate. So never um, puff but, the magic dragon, nope. but, but, but your friend, your friend going forward, and this is the most important investment dynamic, is, is a retail store that is either kind of cool and edgy and has some atmosphere and some ambiance, or the place that you walk in where there's consistency of product, where there's predictability of product, where there's actually a full range and there's a safe environment. That's your friend. That's your friend rather than waiting out of some back alley um, and or being involved in some some place you'd rather not be. And, and, and by the way, also, one of the great things about the friend that is the cannabis industry is that the criminal justice and social justice dynamics of the industry, the industry, believe it or not, has a conscience. And, and I think that there's a lot of people that have been have unduly been punished for their exposure to cannabis over the years, especially when it was illegal. And I think there's a, a, a real rethink on that. So um, you've got a friend, Guy. And I, I like I think what you did there. You don't need friends. You got a lot of friends, pal. I mean, buddy. Well, a yeah, friend yeah, buy yeah. a dog. So look, and you yeah. butted me and pal me. So listen, what we just did here on commercial break, folks, is we went from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to Devo to the Food Fighters, which I've never heard a Do song we have from any them. Time left? Carol Sorry. King, yeah. no zero to Tapestry to Cannabis in nine minutes. Well done, Tim Seymour. Guy, um, 
Tomorrow, we're going to talk about how Dave Grohl is not the first guy to be elected, or he's, he's actually nominated uh, with two different bands. But boy, isn't that an interesting topic to kind of delve into. Uh, people who have double dipped, if I may, on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Talk to you tomorrow. Later.